Good morning, everybody. Today we have Abby in here helping us today. And it is a rainy day. You probably can hear it on the tin roof, um, the rain. And so we decided to spend a little time with the colts. Abby is giving them a good brushing right now. And uh, we're gonna try something with them here in a little bit after we get them brushed. Um, I hope to have these colts not only driving, but riding. And so we will actually teach them to, to ride. And uh, there are a lot of ways to do that. And I have generally done, done more driving than riding, but I've actually trained my share of riding horses also. And I used to ride quite a bit, but not so much lately. But anyways, today, the process we're gonna try is just is just basically sitting on the horses' backs while they're in their stalls, which actually is a really great thing to do. And they're plenty big enough to be ready to do that type of work. So when Abby's ready, we're gonna start doing that. So Abby, let's, let's tell people a little bit about it, your experience with riding horses. How was that? Well, um, I've ridden draft horses throughout the years when I was a kid. We've had a few different riding horses over the span of our childhood. And so we would ride sometimes and sometimes we would just take the draft horses out. But we also, Trudy and I went for a summer to a camp in Alaska, um, a Bible camp that we were wranglers at. So we rode a lot of horses then and that was really, really, really fun. Um, but Tell us a little bit more about your your trip to, to Alaska and, and what you did at the camp with the horses. Well, um, we, we went for a summer and um, it was a Bible camp, so it would be kids from all of Southeast Alaska that came for a week, like a week long summer camp, um, but they came throughout the whole summer. And um, we did the horse portion. So we did the regular campers would come and they would do trail rides. And um, we also had horse camps that like, if people wanted to do more horse stuff that they could come and they could do, you know, all sorts of horse stuff for the week. Um, so we had a lot of fun there. We, um, it was such a beautiful place. And um, we would, and hi to Randy and Allison if you're watching this. Um, they were the directors there. And um, we, they would let the horses out and at night because it was, there was kind of like the bay on one side and mountains on the other side so the horses could only go certain places and so every night they would just go free there were 27 of them and we would leave two in the um barn or in the corral and we would go two of us would go in the morning and round them up and bring them back in and it was so much fun because sometimes they would be right there and sometimes it would take hours to find them because they could be anywhere so we would go and find them and then we would get around them and round them up and it was just like so much fun um but one of the times i remember we went it was two of us and we went and we found the horses and there was like a big group of horses and then a small group of horses and so we went to go get around the small group first and <laughs> they were all laying down on the ground and uh, they got up and it, they weren't horses it was three black bears yes black black bears three bears for sure and so <laughs> then they got up and they just kind of looked at us and lumbered away but it was funny um yeah so that was it was all just a great experience but we did a lot of horse riding that summer, a lot. Okay, so today, get this picture with you. So today what we're gonna try and do is just slowly put, Abby's gonna just slowly put her weight over the horses and slowly sit on them. So this is the first time that they've <laughs> ever done this. This is their uh, made them, not made, what's that? Voyage. Maiden voyage. Maiden. Maiden. This is their. This will be their maiden voyage, and uh, of course we have no idea what to expect. Um, but Abby's just going to take her time and slowly see about uh, getting on them. As you can tell, they're plenty big enough to handle her weight, and they are. You know, we weighed them up here, and they're what 1,100 pounds, something like that. So yeah, plenty I big feel enough. Like they're like a normal riding horse size now. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead and get on maybe Earl first. And if you want to use even this center thing, uh, you could just jump right up there and just see how he reacts and just go 
bit by bit and see what happens. I must confess about two or three months ago, the grandkids were up here and we did put them up on the colts at that time, but they're just little kids, of course. All right, that's true. We're hoping they don't freak out. Just take your time. You can actually use that overhead oh, yeah, plank there right. to let yourself on really slow and carefully. Like I said, there's numerous ways to start training horses to ride and drive for that matter. And this is just one of the many ways that we do it. I brushed and brushed and there's still hair everywhere. Well, that summer hair is coming off. The cobwebs are fun. So here she is just putting her foot on his back just to see what he does. No big, uh, hair. you know, no big fear yet. But he does tend to back up a little bit, which makes it a little bit difficult. <laughs> Get up, Earl. Get up there. Get up there. Can you hang right on the top post as you slide on and just... Yeah. Hey, not bad. Hey, Earl. Hey! Just go nice and careful with them. They could easily back up on you fast. She's just rubbing them down just to keep them calm. I'm going to go up front and feel that me. Hey, guy. you about calendars. Uh, we're so excited. We finally have our oh, um, 2022 calendars out and for sale on our website. Um, so if you are looking for the link for that, it is in the description and we can also put a card up to it. Um, so these are our calendars. As you can see, they are calendars with pictures of horses in them. And there are lots of fun, joy for the whole season, 12 months. So if you are interested in these calendars, um, you can check it out on our website. Um, and we do ship all over the world, um, but the shipping prices vary obviously based on where you're located. They are $15 and they are um, eight and a half by 11 inches. Um, so buy them while you can because there's limited amounts you don't want to miss out. Great Christmas presents and also the um, shirts are also for sale on our website. Okay, I'm gonna hold his halter. Just probably swing your leg over and just slide right off him. Okay. Perfect. There Perfect. There. So bad, huh? Good boy. I'd call that a perfect lesson one as far as riding. Good job, Early. So let's try 
Duke and see how he does. You always get on this side of a horse. Right, Dukers? You can clean the cobwebs out of the barn while you're there. You like cobwebs so well. Pat him, I'll push him up in a second. Just pat him and I'll push him up in a second. My brother did it. It's not so bad. I don't weigh that much. I think he looks wider. Just rub them with your foot. Rub them all over. Whenever you came in with the skits here earlier, Duke was freaking out, but Earl was fine. Really? Well, they haven't been in that much lately, that's why. It wasn't bothering them earlier. Down she goes. Two by six above her head helps out quite a lot. Yeah. She gets to even take pull up, practice her pull ups and pull up and put take weight off the. Off you need the a lot of practice. But. Hey girls, not so bad. Yeah, it's just me. Woo. Now, just a caution to anyone that's trying this at home and. Uh, it's going quite nice right so far, but things can happen pretty fast. And uh, even as calm as they've been, they can just go berserk just all of a sudden and really cause a lot of troubles. And, and it's, it is dangerous because, you know, if she was to fall off here, she has the, the, the stall itself that she could hit her, you know, fall against and get hurt with, or just squished by the horses. But generally when colts have spent time in the barn like this, they get used to it. So it's their comfort place and a place where they feel comfortable with and they just tend to be less apt to cause trouble. Although he is nervous. But she's just comforting him and uh, he's just getting better and better over time. Don't do it alone. Yeah, don't do it alone. Someone should be here to drag the person out from underneath the horse. <laughs> if something goes wrong. The trick and the secret to doing this type of uh, exercises is to, is to do it a fair amount, you know come back in even if it's a week later because Abby's working she can't come up here all the time and I could do this myself and I probably will um, but just uh, more of a regular you know do it quite a bit just to get them used to it and the more they're used to just having a, somebody sit on them even in their style like this when it comes time to actually go out and ride them it's just going to be old hat for them they're not going to be you know they're not going to be worked up over it as much Yes. Very soon. They're the perfect size right now. When this, the draft horses get big, then it's like uncomfortable. This uh, winter when there's snow on the ground, I, I personally feel safer as the father <laughs> of 
as the girls go out riding, when it's, there's snow on the ground, um, if they were to fall off, of course, it's not so risky. But, uh, but even now, you know, the, the colts are learning so much just, just in this, this little um, exercise that we're doing. And not only that, as she jumps off it, the horse, he'll get, start getting used to that. Can I do that? Well, why don't you see if you, wait till he gets over there so you can slide off like you normally would get off the horse. Let me come up front here. Here you go. Here you go. Good over. Hey guy, let me in here. Okay, so why don't you see if you can't really carefully slide off. Okay. Good boy. No problem. No problem at all. Dukers. Okay. Great job, Abby. Thank you. Lesson one. Check. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it and um, maybe that it would even help you if you are training a horse and either to ride or to drive and maybe you could learn some sweet tips from it. Um, so whether that's the case or you just wanted to see how the boys were growing or just wanted to see if I would fall on my face. Um, either way, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry to disappoint if you were hoping to see me fall on my face. Um, and tune in next time to see something else. Have a great day.